Hello world, it's Nixus once again, and we'll be playing The Circle of Strain, made by Marcus Mokus Lapalinen Le Le <laughs> uh, I can't pronounce his name. I don't know what I don't know how to pronounce that and I don't want to do it wrong. Okay, so Lord Jack is the richest man in town. He owns the Serpentile Torque. We're gonna steal it. And there's a note that we have to read once we start. Okay. Known bugs. Don't look at the sky. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue anymore if you're using the new dark patch. Let's see. You, uh, you need at least one water arrow to finish. Did not know that. That's kind of important. Um, this one is meant to be ghosted. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're not going to do that though because it would take too long. So I will see you guys on the other side. Alright, so here's normal difficulty. Hard, and expert, only differences in loot count. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty interesting mission. It's in daytime. That guard over there has it key on his belt. Uh, don't let him stay there too long. He will probably die and you'll fail. a disgustingly complicated lock. Um, let's see. Yep, next house. Now, if I recall, if we went straight for the door, they'll all just freak out on me. Well, guess not. Okay. I suppose this is as good a time as any to air my issues with uh, lock picking in particular. Making a lock hard is fine, but making a lock hard when there's no who's there? D did you say? <clears throat> Sorry, when there's no patrols around to catch you picking a lock, there's really no reason to make it take you know, a minute and a half to to, un, to pick a lock. It just, if it doesn't work with the story, it's just somebody's front door and they're not, you know, particularly wealthy. It, it just doesn't really fit. It's more annoying than anything and it just kind of wastes time. Um, here we see another problem with quick lighting though, where you get some really deep shadows that just don't make sense. Um, Comparatively, the lighting is off. Someone making noise. 
Oops. Oh, well. Don't worry. I'll that fight you. was nothing. Sir? Oh, oh. oh well. Hmm? Must have nothing. I think that guy's on the second floor. The one who thought we were, um, actually got alerted to us. I actually kind of like how bumping into barrels will just sort of make a really loud noise. second floor after all. wasn't a room I could see in. Um, okay, that's a wall. Uh, I guess let's try and give this another shot. Uh, there's no flares. Got a health potion. Hit a wall here. Um, okay. There's something there blocking my way. I hit something. Sounds like a bed. I can't see anything. Um. Oh crap. I may. I may have to. Oh no. Wait. Okay. Okay, so there's a <clears throat> something there. I guess it's a bunk bed. Okay. Well, I don't think we're gonna find anything else in there. Oh, yeah, bunk beds. Um, I don't know why that happens. I think it just has something to do with uh, the way it gets loaded in. You can't hide for long. <clears throat> See, that's the kitchen. <laughs> I bring with me a quest. Oh, guest. I want to offer him deer leg dinner. When we come at 9 o'clock, bring two bottles of wine to the dinner table. Be sure the broken barrels are moved. Blah, blah, blah. We already stole that, though, so. You know, whatever. Crappy plates. Looks like that. Um. Can I 
try that again. Okay. What triggered that? I don't know what that was. Wouldn't have usually made so much noise, but you know, what the heck was that? Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what bit of dialogue I almost triggered, but uh, it's not there anymore. Screw it. Alright, so I'm gonna cut it out, but I triggered some dialogue walking into this room and I can't get it to do it again. Uh, this mission has the same problem with, um, I think it was Tower of Illusion? where the carpets that are placed on marble are just so slightly above it that you can't walk onto them directly, you have to jump onto them. It's not a big deal, but it is a little bit annoying. Hello? Is someone there? Nothing here now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go upstairs then. Just that I don't have to deal with those people. It's a long way down. See, that keeps happening. I think it's just the way they have the cutscenes trigger, or not cutscenes, the dialogue trigger is the problem. That they have it set to proximity. I never did read that note at the beginning. That's entirely my fault. Who's there? Who said that? I'll read that note in a moment. Completely forgot about this note. Okay, so it's not even very important, actually. It just says, hey, it's in the trophy room. Whoop de doo. I'm not even gonna be able to hit her on the head. I really needs to stop happening. Um, it's actually kind of annoying. Um, okay, let's try going into that room again. Looks like this must have been some sort of library. Okay. <laughs> Nothing special, just... Oh no, it's a library, what do you do? Uh, this is a blank note that's, um, broken. Unfortunate, but true. Yeah, it just says, created by Marcus. Let's see. None of these keys work. Awesome. Uh, that means we still have to go find a key. go back any farther? Yes, it goes back quite a ways farther. Um, okay. Let's find the end. And then look for doors. Okay, so second door. Well, that's all the doors. I know I can't open that second door, by the way. So back downstairs we go. Uh, or upstairs, rather. There's nothing up here. Um, Alright then.
Okay, cool. There we go. I don't think there's any more patrols, but it never hurts to be careful. Okay, now we just have to figure out how to get rid of that guard at the front. Then we can knock out those entrance guards. Or vice versa. And go back around. Don't have any flash bombs though. I hate having to cycle through my inventory. Uh, so I don't have the key that opens this, but I think the guy who does is out front. Oh boy! I'll just uh, skip straight to that then. Well, I failed miserably trying to get that key from him, so I think I'm gonna have to... I did find this though. Um, but as I was saying, I think I'm gonna have to go back inside. Um, this is probably a decoration door. Oh, it's not! Awesome! Picking. Okay, more loot, more stuff, whatever. Um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, they see me every time, so I can't really steal the key off that guy's belt. I think I have to steal it from the guy inside at the front door. There we go. Didn't realize he'd turn around. There goes a puppy. Oh, that doesn't even open that. Okay, so why did I do that? Uh, presumably so I could steal that key, but he's... Okay. It's not alerted to me. Awesome. Um, that door's broken. Let's go see if we can... No, it doesn't open this door. I'm missing a key. I can pick the lock. Okay, I'm so pissed off at myself. <laughs> I don't think I even tried picking the lock. I could have sworn the, the two doors here were attached to a room. The same room. The Lord's bedroom. Awesome.
Dear Diary, Today, Lord Swift was such a jerk. I can't believe he did that. There's nothing special in that. It's interesting, and I'm glad that they put some effort into it, but at the same time, it's kind of like, well, I don't really care. Not much of a plot to begin with. Um, so what is this door right here? Okay. This makes more sense. Um, could be that. So noise. Hello? Show yourself. There we go. Hello? Anyone there? I can't really see what I'm doing. Guess not. Okay, okay, hang on. Where's the hallway? There's the door. Awesome. sure what the point of needing a water arrow then. That door is still broken. The double doors in this are a little bit broken. That's fine though. Uh, I think we have everything but our loot requirement. So I'm gonna have to find some more loot um, somewhere where I can actually see. Let's see. Um, he doesn't have a. No, he doesn't have a purse. How far off am I? I'm off by about fifty. Okay. So, there's no door at the end of the hall, is there? No. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is. You know, there's probably a ring somewhere that I missed. I eat those things. Okay, well... I'll go find that loot then. Okay, so found enough loot to be able to leave. Um, that's good. That's uh, kind of a problem. Quick lighting. Um, yeah. I can't just walk out the front door, can I? Yes, I can. Damn. It's on the ground. After him. Okay, so all in all, even with its glitchy lighting, I like this mission. It was pretty good for its time, you know, well detailed, architecture was nice, there were enough little bits here and there, but it lagged like hell on computers at that time. So, yeah, what have you. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.